This is the exact moment when I walked into a drug deal, but more on that later. Hey, no Huh? No, no okay, 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 okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lisbon. Welcome to a POV street photography walk that we're gonna do in this wonderful, wonderful town. I'm here on a family holiday, however, I did dedicate a couple of days to walking around with the GoPro and the XT4 to get some photos. Now, some of the photos will be more touristy, some of them will be more street photography-ish, so it's a bit of a mix. Equipment-wise, obviously, XT4, 35mm F2. Now and again, I did use a 23 or the 50, but mostly it's a 35, which is my favorite focal length for walking around a city. Right, enough talking from me. Let's go and take some photos in Lisbon. Okay, so for this photo, we've got a nice leading line of the tram lines. We've got some nice light here as well. The framing will be a bit between this and those buildings. And as the tram comes through, I'm gonna take a photo of it just on the corner here in the middle of this S, so to speak, on the tram lines. Overall, I think it'll make for a very nice picture. So let's wait for the tram and fingers crossed. Right here, we have a very cool scene. We've got this kind of leading road going all the way to the top, and we've got a very nice pocket of light just on that crossroads there. So if the right person comes along, you could get a pretty cool photo, but obviously it's uh, complete luck. So I have to wait here for a bit and see and hope for the best. Very classic setup right here. Got a very nice tunnel, some nice light right at the end. Very simple, something like this. Just wait for the right subject to come through. Simple but effective contrast in 
light and shadow as well as obviously the warmer tones and highlights and just like that burst mode obviously helps here because you know if you really want to time it yourself fine do it but if the camera comes with burst mode you might as well use it So for this little scene, we've got a frame right there with the sea, and we've got these bollards right here. Took the photo, something like this, there was a guy sitting just here, and overall, I think, he filled that empty space quite nicely. It would have been nice to have a slightly more interesting subject, but overall, I'm still fairly pleased. So in this particular scene, I am waiting for the tram to appear right from there. There's really nice light coming in from that corner. It's also in the shadow. And then you've got the leading lines obviously going up to where the tram will be. If someone walks in front like this guy here, then that, I mean, that probably works for the picture on its own. But obviously the tram is the main subject here. Just have to wait for it. Found a little scene. We've got a wide window frame, it looks really nice. We've got a yellow background, some nice contrasting gray against the road and the tram lines and the cable running through adds a bit of detail. All I need is the right person to walk through. There was a lady there with a hat, but I guess she's gone the wrong way. But yeah, just have to wait and see if the right subject comes. All right, I've given up, so I'm gonna ask my mum to walk through it instead. So, three, two, one, go. Well, look at that, just as uh, my mum finished walking, this lady came across and that's quite a cool picture as well.
not a song for me. Right. Alright, so I found a new vantage point in Alfama looking down across the two uh, tram tracks. So the idea is to frame the shot up something like this. So I've got a bottom of this railing and obviously that building with the uh, tram somewhere in the middle. Plenty of leading lines, a nice little frame. Hopefully if the sun comes out, just like now, you'll have a nice bit of contrast between the shadow of that building and the sunny area. But obviously we'll have to wait and see. Colour-wise, I reckon a yellow tram or a red tram. Well, I guess that's the only two colours you really get here. But I've one will do. So let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and as for the drug dealer, to be honest, it was absolutely fine. He just said not to take pictures. Funny enough, I've actually asked him which way is to get to the restaurant because we were generally quite lost and both of them were very happy to point us in the right direction. Having spoken to one of the locals about this, they said that most of these drug dealers in Lisbon are actually fairly harmless because they're not really selling drugs, they are just selling oregano, compressed bay leaves and ground sugar to, I guess, silly tourists who would fall for these things. So as long as you don't sort of annoy them and get in their way, they generally leave you alone. And then it's around the other side, I think. Hey, no pictures. Huh? No, no okay, pictures. Okay, okay, okay.